Hi, in this slide we're going to investigate whether there is a power law within the SKU line that we buy from one given supplier. So on the screen I have, a, I have a, 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 a real case example of a supplier uh, where they had the supplier had about uh, looks like about a hundred and what 120 SKUs in the line or certainly ones who were active there could be some dead ones over here that didn't show up in the uh, in the transaction register and this particular supplier was was chosen because you'll notice that right here they're generating about fifty thousand dollars in operating profit net profit now this is the same company that was doing two hundred thousand operating profit for the whole company so here's one supplier who's generating really in a sense uh, 25 percent of their operating profit and the reason that they got together with supplier was they wanted to focus on these SKUs right here the first you know 20 or so and see if there were some items that not only were very profitable pop, profitable but very popular so a lot of customers were buying them in which case what would happen if they just beef these items up they did fill rates went up sales grew faster than the, than the rest of the of the of the uh, the base and so forth and we'll look at that case study later on so actually it was it was an enormous success from both the distributor and supplier's viewpoint now later on the supplier came back and said well what is this tail and who buys it and what's going on and how can we fix that is it a is it packaging more per Per bundle, or is it actually a, a customer uh, premise uh, issue? We've got to just go reform a couple of customers who are buying it in a very inefficient way. Uh, so they're going to work on that together. And once this was such a huge success for a few items, the guy came back and said, Well, you know, how about doing it for some more items, more items? But you can see that pretty quickly the juice out of getting, you know, doubling the volume and so forth, it, it drops off pretty quickly. Um, and then, you know, you're going to have some items that just are, are kind of non-events. So if I were to say, is there a supplier, an SKU power law within a supplier's uh, portfolio? Uh, the answer is generally probably not, with the exception of the most you know, top five, six percent of the most, you know, profitable supplier lines, as in this case. Thank you.